as a layman, I would now say, I think we have it. It feels like a huge relief, right? I mean, we want, we needed to see something at the LHC. If we didn't see anything, I mean, so certain theorists would be very excited, but for us experimentalists, we needed to see something. We just spent $5 billion on this machine. It's not that we found nothing. We found, you know, one of the most important particles known to mankind. It's something which will be will be difficult to talk in, in, in my career, I, I'm, I'm afraid. For me, since I started my PhD, it was a goal to, to find the eggs. And <laughs> you got it, and then the big question is, what to do, what, what is next? It's sort of <laughs> exactly what we were afraid of, the standard model Higgs boson, and not a whole lot else, if anything else. If we want to really continue the field, we have to, we have to look for something beyond the Higgs, something new and something different. For 30 years, I energy physicists have been working with the theory which was making prediction. And from one step, you knew exactly what was coming after. And the Higgs was the last step. Now we are sitting there. The path as we knew it is over. And we, have a, we don't know what in front of us. You really have no idea where the new physics is. We have to sort of keep our eyes open for anything out there that we haven't thought about. And most of us here at CERN hope to see something more than just the Higgs. I'm also working on a search for extra dimensions, also a search for supersymmetry, so... People are getting excited about um, dark matter. There's a lot of evidence now from a f like four different experiments that says there might be dark matter. And all of this evidence says that we we probably will be able to find it with a Large Hadron Collider. This is an amazing machine. We haven't unleashed it yet. It has not seen its highest energies, has not seen its highest luminosities. We've barely begun and there are already people sort of thinking, well, this is not going to be, uh, you know, telling us much. It's completely false. You'll often hear people say, ah, it's just a standard model of Higgs, we're done, we're not learning much. But actually, this particular Higgs is really different than anyone expected. It landed right where there was kind of a hole in, in our expectations, if you like. The story is not over yet. The present results say that it's consistent with the standard Higgs to within, you know, this much. And, and uh, the, uh, well, we still may find that when we increase that precision, things are not standard. If we find some small deviation from the prediction from the standard model, it could be uh, a first sign of new physics. The fact that we have the Higgs makes it easier. It gives us a handle to look into dark matter. We can actually look for Higgs decaying into dark matter. I'm just so tired from looking for the Higgs that, you know, doing something different does sound nice. <laughs>